Hi, this is Dr. Knopf for the dental test. We want to help you avoid the needle, the drill, and save big on dental bills in the future. We can do this by helping you understand a bit more about the disease process and especially your own personal risk. This vi short video is about helping you understand how something small becomes a big problem. When teeth are feeling their best, tooth decay can lead eventually to a toothache and a dead nerve. And finally, a fractured tooth and an extraction, having to lose a tooth. When we look at a situation like this in the diagram, everything looks happy and healthy. But yet, there may be an underlying risk that the patient or the person is unaware of. Feeling good, so why worry about something that isn't broken? Let's not fix something if we don't have to. Well, that may be a mistake, especially if you can identify things are headed in the wrong direction and you can intercept that disease process before it ever takes a toll. So if we look a little closer at the disease process, take away the gum and we can see inside the tooth. We can see through the gum and see the nerve in the tooth. We can also see where the tooth contacts the adjacent teeth. And this is typically where those minor problems can get started. A little decay starts right at the contact or just below that contact point where the teeth touch. Absolutely no pain. Everything looks and feels the same as normal. The decay penetrates a little bit further. It gets through the enamel and into the next layer called the dentin. There's still no pain at this level. So everything is still feeling pretty good and going along just normal. Uh, unless it gets detected at this early stage, it can progress. The decay goes deeper and starts to irritate the nerve. Sometimes a toothache will get started, or sensitivity will be noticed to cold and sweets. As things progress, the nerve irritation develops further, the nerve starts to die. The toothache may become severe, and as the decay rapidly progresses underneath the surface, the tooth eventually fractures exposes the full extent of the decay and now the nerves dead so with a dead nerve the byproducts of this dead nerve leach out into the bone surrounding the tip of the root and an abscess or jaw infection occurs now you visit the dentist he takes away the decay finding that there really isn't very much good tooth structure left above the gum line sometimes the tooth is too far gone to be repaired. Can't be fixed. Now the tooth has to be extracted. Once the tooth is extracted, we have an extraction socket, a site where the bone now has to take a few months to fill in. And we have an extraction site that's fully or close to fully healed within three to four months. We have to make a decision about treatment. And our treatment choices would be place, place an implant, dental implant in the site, replace the missing tooth with a fixed bridge. A bonded bridge might be an option. A removable appliance. Or no replacement at all. And those will be the subjects of future videos along with topics about gum disease. So for now, we say that to help you avoid this seemingly small problem becoming a catastrophic problem, visit the dental test. It's at the dentaltest.com. Don't wait for dental problems to develop. Let's intercept them before they become big challenges. It takes only three minutes and it's free. An instant report is sent directly to your email 
And when you get that report, it'll give you details about receiving free toothbrushes and toothpaste for a year. On YouTube, you can subscribe to The Dental Test just by hitting the subscribe button above. And weekly videos will be posted on The Dental Test about saving money, avoiding the needle, and the drill. So to get yours now, look below this video. You'll see the description. And right there is a link. You can click on that link to take the test, get your report, and find out more information about receiving free toothbrush and toothpaste for up to a year. Thank you.